Hey guys, it's Carson Muller Tech here, back with another video, and in this video, I'm gonna be figuring out whether or not the DJI Mavic Air 2's 48 megapixel sensor is really that good. The 48 megapixel sensor is probably one of the number one selling points as far as this drone goes, so I figured that I would just try to figure out whether or not that really is that big of a deal because the sensor size in total is only a half inch, so it's not as if you're getting like a one inch sensor or a full frame sensor or something like that with those 48 megapixels. The sensor size is only a half an inch. So between 12 megapixels and 48 megapixels, how big of a deal really is that? So in total, I'll be taking a lot of images that are at 48 megapixels, 12 megapixels, as well as a smart photo directly out of the Mavic Air 2 and comparing those as well as just throwing in a fun image from the DJI Mavic Mini, which will be from the same location, but just being able to have another perspective from a different drone as well. And this only has a 12 megapixel sensor as well as a quite small sensor compared to the Mavic Air 2. So I don't really expect this to outperform the Mavic Air 2, but I figured I would just throw in another drone just to give that other perspective as well. So with that being said, let's just get right into taking some images. For my first location, I decided to go pretty basic and get a pretty classic shot that you would get in Indiana. And that is of some cornfields. I will be throwing in a shot of this um, electric line over here as well, but I figured, you know, you'd be able to get the detail of the field and be able to see some things in the distance as well. So let's just get this shot framed. And this is pretty much what I'll do for each of the locations. I'll frame up the shot, take the shots with all the different modes as well as one shot with the Mavic Mini. And then after I've gotten all of my shots in total, I'll be getting three different locations. Then I will go and sit down at my computer, compare them and talk them over a little bit with you. So anyways, I would say here looks pretty good. So I am shooting just in single right now, which means that this is a 12 megapixel photo. I do have JPEG plus raw turned on. So I will be able to get a JPEG and a raw image out of this. So then I can adjust the adjustments later if I so choose. Of course, got to take that 48 megapixel one as well without moving the drone. The 48 megapixel image does take quite a bit longer to process, I've gotta say. Like once you click the shutter, you have to wait like a solid couple seconds in order for it to complete. So that is one negative with taking 48 megapixel photos, but it's not the biggest deal. So I just thought I would mention it anyways. And finally, a smart photo. So what smart photo does is it takes a 12 megapixel image, but it is smart in that it goes and adjusts things for you as it outputs the image. So you'll get an image that is pretty much what it thinks is the most ideal image with the color, the exposure, and everything that you can think of. So these are pretty much perfect if you wanna go and quickly share an image without really adjusting anything yourself. It's typically your best bet. So I've taken a couple images now with the smart, and there we go. So let's land the drone and get an image out of the Mavic Mini. I do wanna mention that the Mavic Mini does not have the option to shoot in RAW. So that is not something that you can turn on with this, and that is a downside with the Mavic Mini. But again, it still gets some pretty decent shots, I think. So I figured I would throw that in here anyways. Boom, boom, there we go. That is what each of the locations are gonna look like. I do have two more to go to, so then I have a total of three. Um, I'm not gonna be showing you this entire process of me taking all the photos in every single location, but I figured I'd just show you the first one just to talk a little bit about the cameras as well as give you a feel of what I'm gonna be doing. So for the next two, I'm not gonna really be spending as much time. So with that being said, let's move on to location number two. Two days and six stitches later, here we are at location number two, about to take off right now to get going and take picture number two. Wow, look at that. Trees are just starting to change. Let's see where I wanna take this picture. Maybe I'll take it over here with the trees and the city in the background. That might be a, a pretty picture. Snap a photo, 48 megapixel, and smart. Now time for the Mavic Mini, and that's the shot. Location three, photos taking right now. And the final Mavic Mini photo. There you go. So now that we have all three locations as well as the four photos from each location, I'm gonna go now sit back at my computer and just talk it over a little bit as far as the quality in each of the images, just to show you whether or not that 48 megapixel camera really makes a difference. So with that being said, let's get right into looking at those photos. 
All right, so now for each of the three locations, I have gotten each of the images in their own quadrant, as well as them labeled, obviously, as you can see on the screen right now. And so basically, I'm just gonna talk these through a little bit, but just taking a look at the very first location here, which was of that cornfield once again, this one uh, turned out all right. Um, as you zoom in on each of the images, 200%, 300%, 350%, however far you want to zoom in, you can really start to see the image quality difference on each of the sensors. So once you do that zooming in, you really see that the 12 megapixels of the Mavic Mini is pretty muddy, as well as the 12 megapixel of the Mavic Air 2. It just doesn't really look that great. However, when you look at this smart photo from the Mavic Air 2, as well as the Mavic Air 2 48 megapixel photo, I really think that the quality there is quite good. And of the two, I would actually say that the smart photo out of the Mavic Air 2 looks better than the 48 megapixel photo does. And I think that's most likely because the smart photo just really sharpened it up, which made the contrast look better between the corn stalks and really just makes that look better. Zooming back out again, you can see that the detail in the background is pretty good relatively across all of the images. And as far as the colors go, they are pretty evenly matched. These were taken, you know, just a couple minutes apart, so slight differences in exposure of each of the images is expected because there was clouds moving around and all that, but overall, I'd have to say all the images look pretty good, and if I would have to pick one that comes out on top in this one, I'd probably have to say the smart photo out of the Mavic Air 2. This image was pretty dull, but the smart photo was able to go and make it all look pretty good and was able to brighten up the colors and make it a good looking image with a high resolution image as well. So with that in mind, moving on to location number two, which was a more city environment. I liked this location a lot more because it had much more colors going for it. And also it wasn't as much overcast, so there was some little bit of blue sky poking through in some of the images. So just taking a look at the image without zooming in or anything like that, the Mavic Mini's colors in this one came out on top, and I think that's more than likely due to the fact that there was sun peeking through the clouds, shining down on those trees when I took the image, uh, which I didn't really realize, but this one really just goes to show that lighting in an image is also incredibly important. It's not just down to the quality of your sensor, because if you have enough light, pretty much any sensor can have a decent image come out of it. And that's not saying that the Mavic Mini sensor is bad in general, but it does tend to do a better job in more lit environment. As you zoom into this one as well, going into those trees, you can see a lot of detail in both the Smart and the 48 megapixel once again. And the 12 megapixel of the Mavic Air 2s isn't bad, but it's just not as high quality, I would say, as the 48 megapixel. Zooming in even further as far as into the distance and looking at the words on the JW Marriott or Lucas Oil Stadium, you can really see how that quality difference makes an impact if you're trying to see something in the distance. Usually you wouldn't go and zoom into these images this much, but if you need to because you need to pick something out from the image, then this can be super key. As far as location number two winner goes, I'd probably choose the 12 megapixel image that came out of the Mavic Mini. I just really like the colors of the image and although the quality isn't as high as the Mavic Air 2's images, I just really think that that image out of the sensor, out of the camera, looks much better compared to the other ones. Now the other ones, because I did shoot the images in RAW, I could easily throw those into Lightroom, add some color and lighten them up and I would get a very good image out of those as well. But out of the sensor, the Mavic Mini 100% wins this one. Finally, location number three. The one big thing from these images when comparing them is when you do zoom in enough, this one really shows how much of a difference it is between the 48 megapixel photos and the 12 megapixel photos out of the Mavic Air 2. When you zoom way in and you look at these buildings in the background, you can really see when you're trying to pick out the window outlines that you can totally see them in the 48 megapixel photo, whereas when you're looking at it in the 12 megapixel photos, you can barely tell where the outline of those windows are. So I found that to be pretty cool. If I were to choose an image out of this one, that is a winner. I would probably say that the Mavic Air 2's 12 megapixel sensor came out on top on this one. And in second place is probably the Mavic Mini once again. So between all these images, I really, really was impressed with that sensor of the Mavic Air 2. And just because it has 48 megapixels doesn't necessarily mean that it will have the best images all the time, as you could see. 
The images were good when you got them out of the 48 megapixel sensor, but if you wanted a really good image out of that 48 megapixel sensor, usually you gotta go and add some coloring and filters after the fact. So if you're not somebody who likes to go and filter your images and edit them in post, then that may not be the setting for you. You might be wanting to look towards something like the smart photos of the Mavic Air 2 because in general, that one outputs a pretty good image that is ready to upload anywhere or share anywhere, depending on if you wanna share it right then and there or whatever your idea is. So now to answer that question that I brought up at the beginning of this video of whether or not the 48 megapixel sensor of the Mavic Air 2 is a fad or if it's really that good, I would have to say that the quality of the sensor is quite good. Although it's just slightly larger than the Mavic Mini sensor, it really is able to pull in a lot more detail compared to that of the Mavic Mini or even the Mavic Air 2 in its 12 megapixel settings because of how much more megapixel quality it's got. So overall, I'd have to say that yes, it's not just a fad, it does have good images, but if you are shooting in that 48 megapixel setting, then you will have to be looking towards editing the photos after the fact most of the time in order to pull up the brightness and to pull up the sharpness of the images. So once again, if that's not something that you like doing, then you may wanna stick with the 12 megapixel setting or the smart photo setting of the Mavic Air 2. But with that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below as well as subscribing for future videos like this. Also, make sure to leave suggestions down in the comments below of what type of videos you wanna see in the future. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.